Tomo News presents Animal Attacks of June 2016. <coughs> Hungry wolf wolfs down baby sheep. Mmm, tasty. Run. <gasps> oh my god. What's he even doing? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Gone. Ten day old kitten survives dog attack and amputation. A Colorado animal shelter has saved the cutest and most resilient kitten. Aptly named Trooper, a ten day old kitten was facing death when he was brought to an animal hospital in Golden, Colorado. Trooper lived under the porch in the area with four other siblings. The kittens could barely open their eyes or walk when. Eventually, the litter was found, but only two of the kittens had survived. Trooper and his sister, Patience, seen here, were taken to the animal hospital. Trooper's badly injured leg put him on the verge of death. Veterinarians decided it was best to remove the leg, and the kitten underwent a risky operation. Following the surgery, Trooper was, well, a trooper. The tiny kitten pulled through. He and his sister were placed in a foster home as they continue their recovery process. Recently, Trooper has been adopted by his forever parents and has grown into a handsome, active cat. Divers find body of the boy who was snatched by an alligator at Disney World. Police have found and identified the body of the child who was snatched from his parents by an alligator this week at a Disney resort. An alligator, said to be up to 7 meters in length, grabbed a two-year-old Lane Graves while he was playing on the edge of a lagoon Tuesday night at Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida. The boy's father reportedly fought with the alligator while the child's mother and a lifeguard tried to help as well. Police say they believe the alligator drowned the boy after divers found his body intact on Wednesday. Authorities killed and opened up five alligators during the search for the child. There is signage prohibiting swimming at the resort, but there are reportedly no signs specifically warning about alligators. Alligators are typically timid around humans and usually hunt for other animals. They perform a violent turning motion known as a death roll with their prey in the water. The Graves family were visiting the resort on vacation from their home in Omaha, Nebraska. 13-year-old boy seriously injured by shark. On May 29th, a 13-year-old boy was taken to a hospital after he was bitten by a shark off the coast of Florida's Neptune Beach. A 13-year-old boy and his stepfather were swimming in chest-deep water on Sunday afternoon when the shark attacked. According to local lifeguards, a shark bit the back of the boy's right knee and calf. Other swimmers pulled the boy from the water after the attack. The nasty leg wound was about 8 inches long. Lifeguards estimate the shark that bid the boy to be five to six feet long. Florida's Action News Jax reported that last weekend, an 11-year-old girl and a 57-year-old woman encountered separate shark attacks in the state. According to the Neptune Beach Police Department, bites of this nature are extremely rare for the area. The boy was later taken to UF Health Jacksonville in Florida. In stable condition, and although authorities said his injury was severe, it was not considered life-threatening. 
alligators in Florida spotted snacking on dead body in Canal. On the evening of May 30th, local police in South Florida responded to a call that might very well leave them with nightmares for life. Around 6 p.m., two fishermen spotted a disturbance in a canal by the Everglades. And upon closer inspection, they saw two alligators swimming around a floating dead body. When Davy police officers arrived on scene, much of the body's midsection had been eaten by the gators. A dive team was called in to retrieve what was left of the body, later found to be a man's, as police stood by with AR-15 rifles to make sure the gators didn't try anything funny. Reports indicate they swam away, but not out of sight, probably waiting to see if there'd be any leftovers. Police are treating this as a homicide as the investigation continues. The alligators are not believed to have been responsible for the unidentified male's death. The battle for North American supremacy. American Eagle versus Canada Goose. Canadian photographer Lisa Bell recently found herself witnessing the majesty of nature up close. Early on the morning of June 3rd, while vacationing on Vancouver Island, she caught the sight of a bald eagle descending upon an unsuspecting Canada goose. Scrambling for her camera, she managed to photograph the remarkable tussle of these two feathered foes. The eagle, maybe a bit too cocky with its catch, left the door open for the goose to duck out from underneath. And the Canuck didn't take the opportunity for granted, making a break for it as fast as his wings could flap. Sensing the water was where he might hold the advantage, he dove into a nearby pond and got himself to safety, minus a few scratches and bruises, no doubt. In instances like these, it matters not who lost the fight, for being able to live to fly another day in the face of certain death is, some would say, the ultimate win. The loser in this case would appear to be the arrogance of the superior fighter, who could only exit the ring knowing he alone let the glory slip through his talents. Woman approaches a rat snake and is surprised when it strikes her. Wait for it. You a long boy. That's the snake skin we saw. It was yours, huh? I'm going to touch you on the tail and see what you do. Wait for it. Whoa, you're mean. Are you a bad snake? Ah! He bit. He bit at my phone. Oh. <laughs> Boy, that's gonna be a good one. You a mean snake, ain't you? Look at you. Whoa! Boy escapes mauling by mountain lion thanks to mom. A young boy is recovering after a mountain lion attack outside his Colorado home almost sent him to a gruesome death. The incident occurred around 8 p.m. on Friday while the five-year-old boy was playing in the yard with his older brother. The boy's mother heard screams and rushed outside to find a mountain lion on top of her younger son. She saw the animal's mouth wrapped around the boy's head and pried its jaws open to free the child. The five-year-old was taken to the hospital with lacerations on his head, face, and neck. His mother sustained minor cuts on her hands and legs. The lion was still in the family's yard when authorities came by later in the day to put it down. A second lion was tracked and killed the next morning just several hundred yards from the scene of the attack. 58-year-old airlifted to hospital after alligator attack. See this eight-foot monster? It took a chunk out of a man's leg Tuesday night after it wandered onto his Bushnell, Florida home. The man discovered the alligator on his property at around 6.30 p.m. He shot the beast and then went to check to see if he'd killed it. Clearly, he didn't, because that's when the gator took a bite out of the man's leg. Florida wildlife officials later euthanized the 300-pound reptile. The man was airlifted to a local hospital where he is reportedly in stable condition. Gators are common to parts of Florida, although attacks on humans are rare. But after this and last week's death of a child at Disney World, do you think it's time Florida reconsidered its relationship with its alligators? Bear Attacks New Mexico Marathon Runner Wildlife officials in New Mexico have defended a decision to euthanize a black bear, saying state law requires any animal that bites a human to be killed and tested for rabies. The bear was put down after it attacked runner Karen Williams on the weekend. Williams encountered the bear as she was running in a marathon at the Valles Caldera National Preserve on Saturday. 
The black bear is the only bear in New Mexico, and it rarely attacks humans. However, like all bears, black bears are protective of their cubs and can become aggressive if they think their babies are in danger. So when the runner scared a black bear cub as she ran by, Mama Bear got mad. The bear mauled Williams, biting her neck and scratching her face. Williams was airlifted to hospital and is doing okay after she was released on Sunday, which is better than how Mama Bear is doing. Wildlife officials tracked down the animal and killed it on Sunday. They're still searching for her three cubs and plan to take them to a wildlife center. Three-day-old infant killed by two dogs in California family home. These two Sharpe pit bull dogs are on death row for mauling a newborn baby in Fresno, California. On June 27th at around midnight, the child was resting on a couch with her mother. It was an uncomfortably hot night, so the 33-year-old mother walked over and opened the front door to cool the house down momentarily stepping away from her baby. She knew her brother's dogs were on the premises, but mistakenly thought they were tied up outside. It turned out to be a grave mistake. Hearing the baby's screams, she ran back to her newborn to find the dogs had mauled her. She rushed the infant to the hospital, but the child's short life had come to an end. The woman's brother surrendered his dogs to the SPCA, and they will be destroyed in the coming days. Monkey pulls off epic highs from jewelry store. The surveillance footage starts off with a monkey outside the store pretending to beg for food. One of the people inside nudges the door open and gives the monkey what appears to be some banana. Rather than eat the banana, the monkey pushes the door wide open and dashes into the shop. The monkey then starts to run around, causing mayhem, which prompts one of the men to leave the store. The long-tailed bandit then jumps into the chair behind the counter and appears to chill out for a while before his next move. Curious George then calmly pulls open the cash drawer and grabs a huge wad of cash, while another man in the store offers it another piece of banana. <sighs> Who needs a banana when you have a buttload of cash? The monkey hightails it out of there with cash in hand and makes a clean getaway. Unfortunately, the monkey could not be reached for comment. Police officer handles aggressive dogs and guess what? He didn't shoot them. An Ohio police officer is being praised on social media after body cam footage was released of the cop wrangling two aggressive dogs with care. Patrol officer David Gomez responded to a complaint about two dogs roaming around a neighborhood in Meridian. Gomez found two large dogs running loose. One was foaming at the mouth. Upon arriving at the scene, Gomez called the two dogs over to him. Come here, puppies. Hi. Come here. Come here, puppies. As soon as the dogs approached Gomez, they began viciously barking. What? Hey, hey, hey. You're okay. Get back. Get back. But the officer remained calm and radioed in for animal control. Can I get a code one, please? Hey, get back. Neighbors began emerging from their homes to watch the commotion, but Gomez asked them to go back inside as the dogs weren't taking a liking to anyone. With animal control still 15 minutes away, Gomez attempted to calm the dogs by keeping their attention on him. At one point, one of the dogs got a little too close for comfort, and Gomez sprayed it with pepper spray. The dogs backed off, but didn't seem to be too hurt. The two just kind of lay around in someone else's yard, licking their bruised egos, perhaps? <laughs> then Gomez had an idea. I wonder if you go inside my car. You wanna go for a ride? You wanna go for a ride? Come on, let's go for a ride. Come on, let's go for a ride, guys. Come on, let's go for a ride. Load up. Let's go for a ride. Come on, let's go for a ride. Load up. Load up. Load up. Load up. You can go in there. Load up. Good boy. Load up. Good boy. Load up. Load up. You're okay. Load up. Load up. That's one job well done.
How do you like me now? Good boy. <laughs> Roos need their morning cuppa too, you know. Diners at Goldie's Coffee House got an unexpected guest after a kangaroo crashed in for breakfast on Tuesday. The Roo had been wandering around the Epping Plaza shopping center and hopped into Goldie's while looking for a way out. Pancakes and flat whites were quickly abandoned as staff evacuated the cafe and called for help. Local police and an animal rescue volunteer arrived to collect the hoppity marsupial, who'd been affectionately nicknamed Goldie. Heidi, the volunteer, quickly engaged little Goldie by shaking her head at him. She held up a big blanket and came closer each time the Roo responded with a head shake of his own. At one point, Goldie had a fit after the lady got all up in his personal space. He knocked over chairs in a frantic attempt to leave. But Heidi had him cornered. More head shakes later, she had him safely wrapped in the blanket. Goldie had minor injuries from his journey to the mall, but he was later released into the wild and is now safely back with his family mom.